Pressure injuries are caused by prolonged pressure on the skin and are of particular concern in nursing homes. The limited mobility of many nursing home residents make them susceptible to developing a pressure injury. Reducing pressure on skin against a bed or chair surface is key for prevention. Regular repositioning of a resident every two hours is the universally accepted approach. Most pressure injuries are avoidable. However, once developed, they can lead to infections, amputations, and premature death. Treating pressure injuries costs approximately $26 billion annually in the U.S. Prevention costs are much lower, making it a priority. The introduction of high-density foam support surfaces has reduced the incidence of pressure injuries because of the redistribution of pressure against the skin. Using the foam allows traditional two-hour repositioning intervals to be extended. Few studies have examined repositioning protocols, and those that have focused only on moderate and high-risk individuals. Yet all nursing home residents are at risk. All residents are at risk of developing a pressure injury because they are not as mobile nor as healthy as they once were. The team-up cluster randomized clinical trial conducted by a research team from Duke University School of Nursing is a unique study that includes all nursing home residents. Over a four-week period, using high-density foam mattresses, residents were repositioned every three or four hours to determine if repositioning can be safely extended without increasing pressure injuries. A patient monitoring system recorded resident position, automated repositioning schedules, and provided visual cues to nursing staff when each resident needed repositioning. Each participating nursing home was randomly assigned to one of three intervention groups. Three nursing homes were in each group that used a single nursing home-wide repositioning interval of either two, three, or four hours as standard of care. The trial had two main aims. The first was to determine whether repositioning intervals can be extended without compromising pressure injury incidents. The second aim was to determine how changes in medical severity interact with the resident's risk level and repositioning schedule. Over the course of the study, none of the 1,100 residents in any group developed a pressure injury, demonstrating that if a viable foam mattress is used, repositioning intervals can be safely extended for most residents. Because daily activities keep staff and residents busy, having a visual cue reminds staff when resident repositioning is due shows great promise. For most, extending time between repositioning intervals to prevent pressure injuries can be done. Additionally, sleep interruptions are decreased, which is important for health and quality of life.